Hey guys, I'm Becky from Bookbart Reviews and today I'll be unboxing the June Bookish Box. The Bookish Box is my favorite monthly subscription, but if you have not heard of it or seen any of my previous unboxing videos, this is a company that sends you a book, a t-shirt, and bookish goodies every month. Now the really cool thing about the bookish box is that you can customize your experience so you can decide to not have the book included and not have the t-shirt included, not have the goodies included. So it is customizable of what comes in your box every month. It's super affordable and the quality of this box is just always on point. As always, I do have a reference code below in the description box. So if you decide that you need to have this in your life, definitely be sure to use my reference code. I am not a rep for this company, so I don't think you get anything off for using the code, but it does help me earn some perk points by using my code and getting me a free box. Now, like I just said, I am not a rep, so I do pay for this box with my own money. So you know it's worth it if I'm buying this every month. Today I'm going to be trying out a different style of filming this unboxing and that is due to when I can actually film these unboxings. Now I work normally from 12 to 8 at my job and I have these boxes delivered to my work because I cannot be home when they are delivered. That means that my box shows up usually about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and since I'm a child and I cannot wait to open my box, I open it when I get home from work which is usually about 8.30 plus o'clock at night and that usually means that I have pretty poor lighting like right now. So I have come up with a way to film this box where I can have a spotlight on all of the items. So we're going to try it out so please be sure to leave a comment below telling me how you like this new experience. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this unboxing because I'm very very excited for this month's box. All right so here is our box so let's go ahead and open it up. And this is what it looks like on the inside. We have our spoiler card, which the theme was Far From Home. So I will go ahead and put this to the side. Of course, we have our purple snakes. And let's go ahead and just dive right in. So first up, we have this super cool dinosaur and it's actually an air plant. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of its packaging. All right. So here is our super awesome dinosaur. It is a planter and this plant is actually a real plant. If you live in the U S and got this box, you got a real air plant, which basically an air plant is like super low maintenance. It needs to be watered, I think, like, once every two weeks or something crazy. You just dip it in the water and then kind of, like, dry it off a little bit and put it back in here. But it doesn't need any sunlight or anything. Like, it's a super low-key plant, which I'm hoping that that is true because I cannot keep anything alive to save my life. So if you live in the U.S., you got an air plant. And if you live outside the U.S., they sent you a fake plant just because they couldn't guarantee when you would get it and if it would still be alive by then. So we have this super duper cute Triceratops planter that it comes in and I really, really love it. I do love that this is like, if you can see it like squishes, so it's not like a hard, it's almost like rubber almost, but I think this is so cute and I cannot wait to put this in my office. Also, this is inspired by Land Before Time. So next up, we have this little blue bag with some earrings in it, which I've never gotten earrings before. So they are these super cute and simple silver rose earrings. They are inspired by Beauty and the Beast. I do really love how simple these are and I will definitely be wearing these. Next we have this item and I think that this might be a book sleeve. It is rather different as it opens up like this and it is a pretty small size. But it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. And that's from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. So the spoiler card does say that this is a book sleeve and it is perfect for paperback books and e-readers. Which it is a really cool material. It's kind of like those can cozies that you get. That's the kind of material. I do think it's really cool. I like the colors and I'll definitely be trying to use it. So next we have the t-shirt, so let me go ahead and take this out of the plastic. Okay, so I am so obsessed with this shirt. It is this beautiful navy color, 
And in silver, it says, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. And it has this beautiful rose design all the way across. And it's from Beauty and the Beast. And I'm so in love with it. I just love this design. And I really, really love that inside of the letters is that same rose pattern. This is just so super duper cool. Next, we have the sticker that is the same artwork as the spoiler card that they always include. For this month's bookmark, it is the sign Cancer, and we have Juliet, who is featured on it, who is from the Shatter Me series. I so love these bookmarks. I am going to be so sad when the series is done because I just love the quality. It's a very satiny, soft feel, and the artwork is just stunning. Now, on the back, it does create something, and it looks like we have a little better of a hint of what this is going to be. I still have no idea what it's going to end up as, but you can definitely tell it's some kind of map and we have these different symbols on it. If you guys can tell what this is going to end up being, definitely leave a comment below because I still have no idea. These symbols mean nothing to me. Actually, the more I think about it, this might be a map of the world from A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just have a good feeling about it, but maybe not. You guys let me know what you think. And last but certainly not least, we have the enamel pin. So I will go ahead and pull this out of the packaging without looking and then we will all see it together. All right, so let's see what this month's pin is. Ooh, let me bring that closer for you guys. So it says, you've got words in your soul. And this is inspired by Nevernight. It is made by Dustin Pages. And I am so in love with it. I think it's so cool. I have not read Nevernight, but I have loved every single pin that we get every month. They are so well done. I absolutely love Dustin Pages. All right, guys, that is everything that came in this month's box. I felt like this box was very, very strong. I really enjoyed everything that I got. I don't think there's a single item in here that I don't like. The weakest item is probably the spoiler sticker, which... I mean, if this is the weakest, then this is a pretty strong box. I think my favorite item would probably have to be the dinosaur air plant. I just absolutely love this. I think it's such a cool idea. I did know about this ahead of time because this box was a little bit delayed. So they did do a spoiler for this item and I have been looking forward to it for so long. I just love how it turned out. I do really love that if for some reason I can't keep this super simple plant alive, I could always replace it with a different kind of plant that I can keep alive or replace it with a fake one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you enjoyed this style of an unboxing. It is very different from how I normally do my unboxings, but I really did enjoy doing it this way because then I could unbox everything, talk about it, and show you guys an up-close view all at the same time. So it was a lot quicker, a lot more simple for me to film, but definitely be sure to leave a comment telling me if you do enjoy this type of bird's eye view or if you want me to just go back to how I normally film them. If you did enjoy it, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you loved it and you want to see more bookish content from me, please hit that subscription button. And if you want to be notified as soon as my videos go live here on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>